A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in his ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response oral psalm. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising of the sun to its setting is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill he lifts up the poor, to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. So that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The feast of St. Matthias, the apostle chosen to replace Judas. I I joke sometimes that this is the the feast day of gamblers, the patron uh, saint of gamblers. Now, I don't think he's officially that, but uh, he was chosen by lot. Okay, In a way, they they rolled the dice. They figured out uh, it was going to be by chance to decide uh, who was going to be Judas's successor, was it going to be Barsabbas or Matthias? And the lot falls to Matthias. Now, a couple interesting things. We don't really know much about uh, the life of Matthias. Um, He was stoned to death. He he died probably around the time Peter died. Uh, Peter was in Rome when he died. Matthias was was still probably in in, uh, Palestine. Uh, But What's interesting is, so when Peter gathers the people together, now again, remember, they all are following Peter still. Peter's the, the prince of the apostles. Uh, he, he quotes scripture to decide, okay, we need to, to select someone else. But also, a couple requirements are, are needed. One, it's got to be someone who's been with them from the beginning. So remember, Jesus had, had multiple layers of followers, he had the 12 apostles. That was like his intimate, his most intimate group. Uh, he had the 72 disciples. So this is kind of the next ring, if you will. Uh, these are people that followed him, but also were given uh, authority to do 
uh, preach in his name and, and perform miracles and exorcisms and whatnot. Then you have the larger group of followers, uh, like the 5,000 to 7,000 who uh, recline during the Sermon on the Mount and the, the, the multiplication of loaves and fishes. You've also got some other unique individuals, like I've mentioned before, uh, the, the family from Bethany, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, who, who, who live in Bethany but are Jesus' close friends. So anyways, uh, it's got to be someone who's, who's been in one of these groups uh, from the beginning. So I would imagine that Matthias was part of the 72. Now remember, when Jesus first names the apostles, right, he prays, he's discerning who these, who these 12 amongst the, the 72, let's say, are going, are going to be, and he comes up with the, the 12 names. Uh, so Matthias is, is there from the beginning. Now, why? Why does Matthias, why does the successor have to be witnessed everything? Well, to be able to, one, uh, teach and preach what Jesus has done. Remember, there's no Bible. There's no New Testament in the early church, right? The, the Bible, the New Testament, is written after the fact. So how are the stories going to spread? What's the tradition, the oral tradition has got to be from people who are saying what Jesus did and, uh, and, what he, and relaying his message? And also the spirit of Jesus, because recall, Jesus didn't say everything there needed to be said, right? His word's going to continue on through the mouths of the apostles. Okay, so to really know the heart of Jesus then, and that's, that's also what, what Peter says. Okay, um, they have to, Lord, so Peter prays, Lord, know the, you know the hearts of all. Show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. So by the way, that's another important message or, uh, right there. You ever need to make a, a difficult decision? Pray first, right? So Peter prays first, and then the Holy Spirit will act through this, this chance of uh, picking the lot. But he knows the heart. The Lord chooses Matthias because he knows Matthias' heart. And it's Matthias' heart that is going to do the Lord's work. Not his mouth. Not his legs, not his face, not his hands. Those, although all those things are important, the work, the influence, the power is going to come through Matthias's heart, and so too with us. May our hearts united, Jesus Christ, be the instrument of the Father. Amen.